The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul. Jack. I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear you. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big-ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Babe, can we go home yet? Bye, call it a night. There's nobody left to convince. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <laughs> Welcome home. Six years, and I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I miss that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then- Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. 
The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. Come on, let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Welcome to Project Promenade. Oh, shit. You guys must have some budget. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not, strictly speaking, legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. So, what's this? Corridor schematics. Travel clockwise leads to a forward progression in time. Counterclockwise, travel backwards. Oh, it's like you invented a clock. Yes. Years ahead of our time. I need you to push the lever over there, leave a chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. <laughs> That's just the chronon conduit initiating. Sure, it's supposed to do that? Stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What 
What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time in the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Passenger? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. It's a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Paul, <laughs> what? How? It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's... There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it! Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Before they happen. Cure, cure diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here. It's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible. That's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even... There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh, no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not <clears throat> thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. Or what? No, I gotta let you out. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. 
Will. Will. I didn't want to leave Paul, but there was no way to help him. I didn't know where he'd end up. Hurry! He's here! Fire! What the hell? Hurry! This way! Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse. It, it must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there. What the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. A time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time, and door. What? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the server. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming in here. I warned Paul about this, about the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out. Shh, you. Biggest concern right now? Backups on route to flush him out. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even Jack, 
You weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I, I'm sorry. Right. Are you okay? I think so. Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. Wait. It's coming down. Hide! Not again. There! Take him down! Watch out! These guys are wearing monarch uniforms. Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Team. Now Jack and William Joy's been detained. Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. We must be after the machine. The elevator. It's the only way out. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important. To fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we can fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stay. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way.
can get to the parking lot through the lecture hall. You said you were prepared for this, that you knew it was gonna happen. How? Beth Wilder. It's complicated. I'll explain in the car. Okay, Will, calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. I'm supposed to be in goddamn Thailand. Seven different parking lots and you just had to pick this one. Where's your car, Will? I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. That's... In the past. I hope to God I'm not too late. There we go. Oh shit! Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well. I'm coming from where I left the I gotta get back there. Visual! Fast. I swear to God, if you hurt him! Taking him to the library. You might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than. 
Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will! No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Supposed to take William, William Joyce William alive, alive if he doesn't put up a fight. fight. Please, please, let me go. Let me go. I can I shut can the hell up. up. But just shut, shut the fuck up, up all right? All right. You still had no idea that Wilder was helping you? She wasn't the only one. <sighs> Nothing. Lights are out across the whole damn camp. Who's Joyce? Gotta get to the library. Why are you taking me here? It's a library. I need to return some fucking books. HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Awaiting orders. Over. Will. They took him to the library. I gotta find a way in. I gotta get to him fast. There's gotta be another way in. Looks like a way up. This is Airlift Prime. 
Time Machine Corps in transit. Hey! Hands where I can see! <laughs> What the hell is going on around here? HQ, we've got William Joyce in the library. Away ah, orders. They got him. Over. I wonder where the Roger. brother is. <laughs> Will. You all right? You're fine. I got a whole new batch of messed up shit I need you to explain. Get me out of here first. We have to hurry. Where's my car? I didn't like the color. Let's get a new one. What? No, Jack. I need them. Uh. Hold that thought. My briefcase was in that car. 
I'll take you shopping. It's a fucking briefcase. A briefcase that contains something I need in order to stop the fracture. And you didn't think to spell that out to me. Yeah, well, it's not too late to leave you here. How the hell are you staying alive? That's part of the messed up shit I need to explain. You got any theories about being able to manipulate time? Change their minds. find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. It's not that simple, Jack. I kept secrets from you to keep you safe. Safe? Look around you, Will. Does this feel safe to you? This isn't my fault. Beth warned me this would happen. I did everything in my power to stop it. But you never told me. Any of this? I couldn't just... How long have you known? We don't have time for this now, Jack. We have to get to that briefcase. Let's move before more of them show up. Jack! Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, uh, uh, I've seen it. I've lived it for 17 years. 17 years? It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait. Trigger. I never wanted this.
My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Dectros's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear... The public will start asking questions, potentially I'll turn a monarch. Some. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on Mr. our Serene? side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. <laughs> I want this delivered to my office. What is it? A reminder. I suggest we deal with the issue at hand. Liam Burke over there can explain the situation in more detail. Of course. How long until the Corps is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch Headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on him, bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Initialize a PR campaign. I want to steal. And that violence was because of Jack. Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey, I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I 
uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk, keep eyes on them, and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. Not this one. She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. Jack! There's no other way out. We're going through the machine. Oh, wait, no! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You have three seconds till I pull. I had better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. Still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen, it was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why. 
but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts in our... Hey, what's Reaper Squad doing with those video cameras up in 8th grade? Looks like some bitch named Amy's gonna be the poster girl for Serene's PR campaign. Filming confession videos. We blew the library to create... It's him! Joyce is here! Looks like the only way out of here. There's gotta be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship raid through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a monarch clonin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about... Dry docks. Paul's at the dry docks. And that's where I'm... No! Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this, and I'm gonna find... We both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Like, wish we could undo what we've done, sort of deal. Dave will feed you the line. Dave? You're using your names. You're not letting me go, are you? What was that? You know me? What's going on? I am so sorry. I didn't want to, but they made me do it. They made you do what? What is this place? They forced me to make false confessions for the news, I think. I'm so sorry, Jack. They were armed. Hey, whatever you did, it's not your fault. None of this is your fault. I'm just glad you're okay. Listen, I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know the way? Uh, 
No, uh, no, I don't think so. But they took me in through a security station nearby. I can help you find a way through there. I owe you. The security station is right over there. I knew Marnock had a dark side, but this? <gasps> They're controlling the entire media, everything. They can't cover this up. It's too big. <laughs> they can, trust me. It's locked. <sighs> okay, there must be a gate control around somewhere. Yeah, I'll check. Holding long. I don't think you're fast enough. That could be fixed. I think you need to get to this side of the gate somehow. Like who? I saw them on the way in. These geared up soldiers that <laughs> blink in and out. Okay. Well, that's something to look forward to. You know, I thought I was losing my mind when I saw that. I need to know what's going on. You really want to open that can of worms? My brother tried to explain. Time is an egg, which is now f we're locked out. Maybe you can climb through that open window on the second floor? Yeah, that should work. Wait here. Okay, well, I'll fill you in with what I know, but when you put the pieces <laughs> together, it all goes banana pancakes. So everyone thinks that Monarch is run by this smarmy asshole named Martin Hatch, but everyone here answers to a guy named Paul Serene. And apparently he founded Monarch in 1999. Now, here's the thing. Paul Serene is the exact name of a guy who was heading some top secret physics project at my university. So it's gotta be the same guy, right? Wrong. Now, I heard that Monarch was there to steal the project from the university, but why steal something from yourself? Also, I saw that guy Paul Serene on campus once, and he looked like 30 years old. So Paul founded Monarch. <laughs> Need to get up to that open window. Is that another one of those things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. Jack. What do you right. 
think. That's it. Made it. Now to get to that door. Finally. Good work. I need to make this right. Mr. Serene's chopper. I'm gonna is use the terminal up here and try and dig up what Monash really up to. Ferraro, an eyewitness on the scene. Amy, tell us what is going on here. There were people from our group who took things too far. Shit. Things got very violent. I'm so sorry, Jack. They forced me to do it. I. I know. There's nothing you could have done. That's a terrifying scene down there. We really that appreciate map over there should help you figure out a lot. Record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. Ground Zero. That's the same area my brother used to have his workshop. I may have to pass through there to get to Paul. Paul? As in Paul Serene? That's why you're going to the dry docks. We have unfinished business. You may want to stay here until I'm done. Yeah, I think you're right. I'll open the door for you. Okay, stay in contact. Find a radio, I'll be on channel three. And be careful. Yeah, you too. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Who's shooting? Did I scream enough for you? My powers were unpredictable. They kept growing by leaps and bounds. Still kicking. Monarch radio is lighting up. They heard a noise and know you're coming. Be careful out there. Thanks for the heads up.
Yeah. Any idea where I go next? Well, before you said hi, Gatehouse Squad was talking about activating security measures to lock some door on the second floor. That's a start. Thanks. Looks like a way out. Now, how do I get it open? Jack, the husky lady on Monarch Radio seems to be unable to reach Gatehouse Squad. Remember the geared up soldiers I mentioned to do the- Hey, just turned off security. Uh-oh. Jack, they're coming your way. <laughs> Yeah. I did some digging. This chronon operation is harvesting some kind of fuel. It's used to power a device called the CFR. Ever heard of it? CFR? No, what is it? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's at the center of everything Monarch's doing. Four levels were lowered to a point that renders Ground Zero obsolete in the near future. Queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before we proceed. Hello, I'm Dr. Sofia Amaral. Over the past six years, Monarch has made vast technological advances in the area of Meyer Joyce particles, better known as chronon particles. On July 5th, 2010, new central anomalies began to occur in a very small and focused area. We now refer to as within the river portion of the This is the information of chronon particles, creating the perfect conditions for action. Today, most notably, the chronon No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. Let's 
There's got to be something I can use to get up there. elevator Jack I found documents here about some kind of private gala Marnak is hosting tonight tonight after everything that's happened it has something to do with their future plans Serene's delivering a speech and the guest list has everybody from monarch higher-ups to big shot scientists to the mayor of Riverport which raises the question why now I don't know but I'm gonna find out. Okay, getting closer, I think. <clears throat> now, which way's the dry dock? Hello, okay, Riverport. looks like the trailer has power Teresa now. Sedmack, filling in for Bobby Radford. Bobby Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch just got footage of your lady friend sniffing around some confidential Monarch files. Kind of a big no-no around here. Amy, I gotta go back for her. Don't. I'll pick her up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the Monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid.
I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Engage. ground. We're not alone. It's clear that the workshop is a modern operation. I wonder if Super's in there. Get it seems like Rydox answering. guys. Stutters. Knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh shit. Yeah, he never tried to stop it. Never told you what he did in that workshop at Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. What the hell? What is this? Hell, hell. What, is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. 
a puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, please, don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack. overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack. You have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No!
Sir. Ah. Stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it'd get much worse. But we both know it did. Uh, it's gonna hurt.
Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the bed. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like a goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck, too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay, I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. I could swear this is the same cab I was in when I came to the university. It's a taxi. They all look the same, don't they? <clears throat> I'll check the license plate on my phone and see if anything comes up, but I mean, it's a long shot.
Hey, I think I found a way in. Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Okay, May 17th, 1999. What the hell were you doing here, brother? This is William Joyce, and I'm about Time to travel experiments with rats? Test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... Wait, he's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on, you're okay. You're all right, you're all right. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. Hello, Riverport. Teresa Sedmak here, filling in for Bobby Riverport. Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. <sighs> nice work. This note. It's directed at me. And my fourth, 2010, well. Beth Wilder. I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. And the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, Power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. 
If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle, I think. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. You sure you know what you're doing there? No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is... Here goes nothing. still works. Something's wrong with the machine. We don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop I'm trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You are right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Up into the past. I tried to change things. Answer me this question, Paul. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. My old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. leads I've been to the end of time and I've escaped it all the way to 1999 when it all started I've tried to change things 
But by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder, you were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you was too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? Looks like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case. My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. Hey! He's escaping! will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, we're gonna have to move fast we get through. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? My powers didn't work on the turret. It was some kind of monarch chronon tech device. Oh, he could have warned me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? I need to get across somehow. Must be a way across. Uh, up you go.
explain the dry dock thing to the public. Hey, it was just our people. We That's all. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... He'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutter proof. Shit! Oh, Radar tower. Where's the lab? Blow your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator. And Side will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. down into the labs. Okay. Bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right-hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene.
this? What is that? It's like I'm being drained. The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believe the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. The time was ending? What was it all for? Which way is Amaro's office? be able to get out from here. Guessing this isn't the usual employee route. <laughs> Dr. Amaral's office must be close. <sighs> no alarms. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. Good job, Beth. 
That's Amaral's office. Yeah, Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh, shit. Amaral's at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Guns made to operate in a stutter. Paul had clear priorities. When time ends, guns don't. was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. I'm talking about. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Wanna be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, weenie. I'll make my way there. I see Hatch getting shot at when she's at her job. Beth, I've got company. I'll see you at the party. Great.
That's the last one. Exact coordinates for Joyce ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. Five. Just spotted him entering the tunnel system outside the party grounds. I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. I could see the energy field of another Monarch Chronon dampener. Who drained my powers. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. My powers won't work within that sphere. I better be careful. Security's tight. Maybe you want to shut that machine off. Somebody get Serene back here! You were headed for the party. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming. Should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. A traitor fired shots during Mr. Hatch's speech. I assume this was Beth Wilder. We both know it wasn't. Hatch wanted to send Monarch into a state of disappointment. Monarch does. I don't think my cover's gonna last. 
Yeah, well, I don't think it would do much good for the next part anyway. Okay, Dr. Amaral's somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Bit of luck, we can be gone before anybody notices. Okay, lead the way. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Shit! Oh, that drone! It's in the wrong place at the wrong time, literally. Before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doctor. Go. I can swing by and... No. 
Just go. We went to all this trouble to grab it. the shot. Counting on you to keep it alive. Make my own way out. My plan was simple. There's a bridge to the mainland. Fight my way through anything Monarch would throw at me and steal a car. Drive it back to the swimming pool. See how it shakes out. Beth and Dr. Am are all clear. It was time for me to get gone. For that, I need wheels. Okay, time to get a ride out of here. Valley parking. Inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. 
Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want him in Brad. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. But she took them away. If she'd turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. But she took them away. If she'd turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Sophia's date has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one.
you took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of Monarch. I don't know, maybe you could sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I can pick you up. Let me know. I'm pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. That was Dr. Amaral. Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't stay here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, about that. Bad news? Reoccurring theme of the night. I'm looking at the bridge right now. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright Thanks ideas? Thanks for your patience, folks. We'll have you on your way again soon. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. A giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. For those of you just tuning okay. in, the man who down there. As Where's the fire pole? Uh, excuse me, sir. We're helping the police with this case. I plan to meet Beth went out the window as soon as the stutter hit. Her boat couldn't get to you? No. But it gave me an opportunity to climb up on the bridge and cross it. Slip right past Monarch, more or less undetected. Oh, 
Get up on that bridge and make my way across it before this stutter ends. The scene on the bridge was unreal. They weren't cops. They had no authority to do this. But the Monarch PR machine had done its job. Here they were, the heroes protecting everybody. And you were the terrorist. Yeah. and I'll be clear. This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Ground in the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow, I had to find my way across. Hope for the best.
kept heading downwards, towards the cargo ship. The route down wasn't exactly user-friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos, frozen, and no one would know. Okay, come on, come on, come on. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. This was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. Name's Martin Hatch. According to Monarch Radio, he's been deemed a traitor. Sabotaged a Monarch lab. Potential ally? Close. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen. In the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said, I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying, we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. 
Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? The power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning when the machine was activated. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the stations with red lights before the green one. Both stations are open in the middle of the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. It's a perfect place for a reset switch, Will. First red light is now green. Okay, the first red light is now green. Good. One more to go. I'm not <clears throat> sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the Jack, you've got to see this. I'm serious, Jack. This is big stuff I've got. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. Hmm. Guess you thought you might come back. <laughs> my artsy rebel phase. Complete with a very rebellious how-to guide. 
I've always wanted to try this, actually. Never had the time. Is that? Yep. Will's personal psychiatrist. Want to give it a try? I think. What's wrong? Toto. That's my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try your way. Notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Looks climbable. Set the data into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? 
No. Are you? No. Okay. Let's go. There's still... This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. What did you do? Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. I'm gonna follow through with the plan. Tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. I will. You just take care of yourself, Jack. Okay? Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. What's going on here? Since when did Will run a graffiti workshop? None of this crap was here in 2016. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. What the? Someone's in here. Turn him back. Jack? Dr. Emerald sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one. William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! It's okay! Hey, it's okay! 
out. It's okay. I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then that's where we go. Uh, yes. That was the plan. I just have to unlock this. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just... worried what that might mean. It means we finished it. You need gear? Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river, along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over and over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. finding out. I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through, what she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul, followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. 
Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth, she had doubts. You okay? Yeah. <sighs> but the countermeasure, the one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. Does Will know we're coming? No, he doesn't. Whoops, sorry. From this point on, we may be in their sights. We need to be quick. Hey, Will? He's not here. I made sure of that. What? Why? He's the only one that knows how to use the countermeasure. Which is why he needs to be kept safe. In case... things go bad. Fine. We get the device, then you lead me to my brother. Sure. Now, where do we find this thing? We'll see the security inside a safe. I'm pretty sure you have Somewhere in the building. All right, Will. Where'd you hide that safe? You'd been there before. Witnessed flashes through time. I assume pieces of that puzzle had come together since. And some are yet to come. Just need to find a way in. Let's see here. The power setup wasn't working. But it must have worked at some point. Maybe I can rewind time to get this working. The device wasn't there. But it must have been at one time. He didn't leave the code, but I can crack it. I just need some time to... Somebody's here. It's Monarch. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open, stay inside. Yeah. Okay. You'd been spotted the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. You were on a suicide mission. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without a fight. Not then, not ever. This is Trojan One, approaching workshop perimeter, over. Remember, orders are to take her alive. Monarch Actual's en route. Right. Stop right there, where's the girl? Hey, 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 hold on, take it easy. That seems to be the problem, guys. On your knees, now! Trojan 4, we're going inside. I can't let you inside that building. I said on your fucking knees. That's an order. Hey, I'm warning you. This is not a fight you want to start. Then stand down. I'm not gonna do that. He's got a gun! Open fire! She has to give up.
Come with me. We can survive this together. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? We created Ground Zero. Caused everything to happen how it always did. Every piece falling into place. Except one. The blast sent you through time. Brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind.
Beth. Come on, move. Beth, get up. Beth, come on, get up. Please, Beth. Beth, you need to move, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Get the gun. Come on, come on, come on, Beth, move. Come on, please, please. Beth, move! Paul, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't! I'm not wrong. You can't. No! No! Serene had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get it back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. So, what you did next? It wasn't personal? No. I don't have much time left, I know. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, building Monarch, because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? <sighs> I'm slipping away into pain and rage. The sickness is accelerating. The CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. Mr. Serene, sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. The lab explosion, my treatments, all gone. First things first, seal the chamber. CFR has been secured. Uh, Mr. Serene? I'm in your office. I'll be right there. Serene, out. This soldier doesn't know how close to the end I am. I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of...
becoming the enemy. What that would mean for me, for the plan. I... Ah! I don't know who to trust anymore. Martin Hatch. He used me all these years. How deep does this betrayal run? How many more are there? They, they wanted the lifeboat to fail. Why? Sir? Be right with you, son. Report. Sir, you ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed, but there was one left. The casing appears to be broken, but uh, it's one of my treatments. But it's damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? I'm not a traitor. You're the same now. And I need your help. I can focus on the mission. The lifeboat. See it through to the end. I still have allies I can trust. Look, you have to realize you're not gonna keep me from getting the CFR. Life can't walk away, Joyce! Liam Burke. He would fight to defend us. To slow Jack down. The plan could still work. You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. And now, I will assure yours. And my world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You'll need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right? Joyce fixes the fracture, he fixes the world, and it will all happen. Charlie Wincott, another weakling, a traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer, all of them. Sir? Thank you. I'll be right down. Dismissed. Yes, sir. fast while I still can <sighs> Bradbury swimming pool
Time was broken, working out of sync. The city was in a state of chaos. The end of time was closing in. And you still believed you could fix it? The solution was inside Monarch Tower, a countermeasure. The CFR as Monarch knew it. The key to the lifeboat protocol, Monarch's survival plan. But that didn't seem to matter to you. I had a better plan. I'm not sure why you're doing this. I trusted Beth. I know she had her own agenda. I don't know half of what she did, but I trusted her, and she trusted you. And this is feeling like a real do-or-die situation, so I guess I'm doomed. I was getting closer to the countermeasure. Paul had the key to fixing the fracture all along, but he didn't see it. There was nothing to see. He believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. That's why he used the countermeasure, the CFR, to create the lifeboat.
Tiana. Can you get the door open for me? was scrambling. Paul's empire was falling apart all around me. I'd never seen anything like it. But Paul had. That's what he was preparing for all those years. He didn't do a very good job.
fuck was that thing? The train. All personnel, stay clear of the lower levels. There's a possible hap. Another door I need help with, Fiona. You're at Serene's office. Good. Uh, just a second. This one's a little tricky. Serene's got access to the CFR chamber, and there's going to be a pretty dangerous guy there guarding. <clears throat> Paul was already gone, but he left behind the one thing I needed. My office alarm went off. Is that you skulking around, Jack? Fuck you. I'm done playing games. I'm here for what you stole. Yes, of course. The CFR. If you understood just how much depended on that, you'd leave it alone. But I know you don't care. You're right. I don't. And it looks like you're not here to stop me. Yes. Yes, everything will play out as it has to play out. I'll see you very soon, Jack. I'm done dancing your tune, you crazy bastard. Now it's just a couple of minutes between stutters. The countermeasure was Paul's prize. Everything he'd built was based on Will's device. His plan depended on it. You better believe I look forward to taking it from him. Only one of Serene's treatments survived the explosion. His time was running out. So was everybody else's. Paul spent a long time running Monarch in secret. It probably didn't help with that whole disconnected from reality thing.
Seeing that face put it into perspective. They were all misled, manipulated to believing they were doing what was right, what was necessary. Liam Burke made his choice. Liam Burke was an unnecessary. Fiona, I'm at the CFR chamber. The door's locked. That's way above my access level. But since my friend disabled security earlier, I should be able to do this. It was like walking into a shrine. There'd been some kind of struggle in the chamber. This was our holy relic. I didn't know the details. Somebody cleaned it up. A man named Charlie Wincott. I believe he chose to take a stand. Unfortunately, it ended badly for him. Mm-hmm. It took 11 years for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it. And I knew it could fix the fracture. This fucking thing. Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did was dead. But Monarch had a way of getting to him before that ever happened. The university time machine. They've got the core here. Monarch had built their own time machine above the CFR chamber. That's where I needed to go. You still believed you could go back and save your brother? Yes. Paul took the core of the time machine from the university, hooked it up to his own machine. It was part of his sick desire for control, but that gave me one last shot at fixing things. I could go back, maybe get to Will before Paul killed him. And if I could get the countermeasure in Will's hands, maybe I could still turn everything around. The core was set, the machine was prepped. I had to put the corridor in place. This should do it.
Oh, you're welcome, you very slow machine lady. The machine was ready. I just needed to put in the date. The earliest I could go back to was the time that the Corps was first activated. At the university. Not much time to rescue your brother. I didn't have a choice. You better be as advertised. I got there after the fracture initiated. Too late to stop it all before it ever started. But not too late to save Will. All you had to do was get to him in time. Yeah. That was the plan. It's locked. Gotta find another way out of here. HQ, we've got security footage of the Joyce brothers escaping through the server room on the lower level. Raider Team 3, intercept immediately. Ready another extraction unit to remove the core. Prowler team, ready the heavies in the underground parking. I'm not hearing any response from Raider Team 3. We may have a situation. Where the Copy. hell is that extraction team? We were supposed to have the core loaded in that chopper by now. <laughs> I remember that Will and I were heading to the courtyard when the stutter hit. That's where I needed to cut him off.
You never tried to stop Monarch from extracting the core. The fact that they stole it was the only reason I was able to return to the past. It's not a logic I wanted to mess around with. dealing with somebody other than us. That was me, all along. It's you! Striker team is down! It's Joyce! Raider 9, what do you mean Striker team is down? How many? All of them! Fucking hell, we underestimated him. Take him out! Whatever it is, that, fight him up! HQ, 
We spotted Jack Joyce in the student lounge. Get it for that. That shouldn't be possible. I'm getting reports of gunfire in the underground parking. Are you sure it's Joyce? I need visual confirmation. Didn't expect to, me, did you? Gate control. I don't have the code. Six six five. K. Okay. Here ain't left yet. How the fuck did Joyce take out those strikers? Hostile! Gotta get to the library. Electricians, you are not. <laughs> Have to reach Will before it's too late. No time to lose. I gotta get to Will. Shit. Too late. I gotta beat him to the library.
I got orders to patrol the rooftops. We already got men up there. And they want more. Take it up to Serene, we disagree.
she saved me. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> hey, Will. Here's a present. Uh, countermeasure. How? Oh, Jack. Will! Come on! Come on, uh, let's go. Ah. Monica had it the whole time. Does it work? Came back from the future. For me. Fracture wasn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? In theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. We gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, the future. no, 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 no. It's the only way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't want And if it could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. If we get one shot at this, it's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? Then you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. The past is set, but the future is. This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? No, I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, then... No egg metaphors. bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. Risky the past up. remains intact. Stick to the plan. Nothing changes, and great. the Novikov self-consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high-five about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. Huh. Surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know. All right, through here. You can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh -huh. Must have somehow repurposed it as a localized Cronon field regulator. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah, I see. Place isn't safe. We can't stop here. Oh, shit, watch out. <laughs>
Look, I know I've kept you in the dark, but when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah, I get it. Come on, let's just go to the future and fix this mess. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand? One more time. When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. Whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there and used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. Go to the future. A little after your time of departure, before the fracture has stopped time permanently. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course it'll be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I have been curious to try this. save me. That's our window. When we know it can work, before time actually ends for good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh. Like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know, they stole from me. You worry about your end. I'll worry about mine. All right, well. That works. This is amazing. All those years, I never imagined that it would be like this. Crap. Hang on, Will. He's in! Damn it. What the hell did they do to touch?
Better not, Jack. I don't know how Will managed to get here, but we're getting it. This is bigger than the two of us. You know time's about to stop for good. Yes, it is. Hence the lifeboat program. A bunch of desperate people sitting around in a bunker somewhere waiting for the inevitable? Jesus, Paul. You stole the CFR, Jack. I stole it? And the plan depends on it. So... I'll take that back now, please. I can't do that. I know.
Joyce field with chronon particles. The time machine is like an amplifier. That'll cause a chain reaction and rejuvenate the field. It'll be a universal event. I'll take your word for it. Just make it happen. Jack, give me a hand with this. What do you need? The countermeasure's charge is low. We'll need a jolt of chronon particles. A jump start. That's you. Measure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lies we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come ah. on. <sighs> I think we just saved the universe. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's dead. It's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. Was he? Will. The countermeasure worked. Whoa. The countermeasure burned out. One more question. Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path, and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Was he right? Or is it possible to change things? I'll come back for you. You've been very patient with us, and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. 
right outside. Mr. Joyce. Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own tune, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same Monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious. And we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. 